It's headlined by Surya Bochuk. Do you know he, he dubbed himself the Hollywood Fight Night King? Yeah, he did. She said it. So His I English is, is so King. well. I was, he did the whole, he did not ask. I, I, there was a couple times I had to stop a little bit, but he understood. And he was using words. I'm like, oh my goodness, good yeah. for him. He's been in Big Bear continuously yeah. since January. Yeah. So, uh, you know, when you're up there, as long as he is with the sparring partners, he's with only. Abel, and uh, he's got to be picking up uh, his English. He, was, um, he did tell me that he was um, training and sparring with uh, Michelle Soro, so that's why right. he had the extra work. He right. did tell me... Uh, Soro just had a nice win over yeah. in uh, France on Saturday. That's where Abel just came back. In the eighth right. series, Brian Hollywood... Had a big win oh, yeah, he did. Yeah. I, I even said it um, when I watched the fight. I felt like a proud sister, and uh, like him graduating yeah. from Hollywood Fight Night. Even Luis Feliciano, right. he's going to be headlining his own card on Golden Boy um, August 22nd on DAZN. So it's um, a lot of a lot of these prospects are coming to Hollywood Fight Nights to showcase their talent. And look at they're headlining their own cards. They're moving on the big stages. Mario Ramos is back on the card. Ramos eight no with yeah. seven knockouts. Uh, Adrian Corona, who's Adrian this is his home there. gym right here. But uh, like I said, Brian Sabayo was on a few of the shows last year. He looked, in, he looked incredible in the ring. He looked different. He, um, it, there, there was a spark about him. Everyone was tweeting he like, was fighting a dangerous guy. yes, and a, a guy that had a lot of knockouts, had more fights than him, and a lot of fighters freeze on the big stage. But uh, Sabayo, he uh, took to it. He he loved being at Madison Square Garden. He's from New York. Oh, for him. Yeah, and uh, that fighting a tougher guy on a big stage and he came through with flying colors and you got to give uh, Sabayo a lot of credit. Back. Congratulations to Manny Pacquiao, your country. Yes, my buhai Manny. Yeah, another, another world oh. champion for the Philippines again. Okay, so you watched the fight because Abel didn't watch the fight. Let's talk about it. Manny, uh, Manny looked uh, like he turned back the clock. Whatever he's doing with Freddie is, is working because the last two fights, Adrian Broner, Keith Thurman, he's beating all these young guys and uh, I thought Manny won the fight. I didn't, uh, you know, with the knockdown and yeah. Uh, I had it, uh, what was it, seven rounds to five yeah, plus the knockdown. the knockdown. Yeah, that's how I'd scored it. So, what do you but think I think of it was Glenn a clear Feldman's one. card, 14 13. Uh, look, there were some close rounds there, so I don't want to disparage. Uh, I mean, that, that's a lot closer of a fight than uh, some of the other cards that we've seen recently, <laughs> namely some Triple G cards. <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, it should have been a unanimous, but could have been unanimous. Have been. Yeah, but uh, that—that's how I saw it. Um, I think a majority. I, I think uh, when they did an analysis. I read uh, this morning that uh, they were actually in, a, in all three judges had scored rounds uh, unanimously, and there were there were like two or three where they didn't uh, they didn't agree, but the yeah. majority uh, where they they scored it. And, but look, it was a great atmosphere up there in Las Vegas. It was Fox uh, pay per view and it was a very and a, and a very uh, yeah. And, and uh, capped off by a tremendous performance by uh, by Manny. So you gotta you gotta love that. That's when the fans get their money's worth. And mm -hmm. and uh, like I said, it was great to see Manny uh, win a world title again. Uh, Scott, Sean Gibbons is working with them. And like yeah. I said, whatever he's doing with Freddie, is working because he's uh, he looks uh, he's beating all these young guys. Uh, you know, he did tell me that. Um when I asked, we talked politics. It was yeah. yeah, it was interesting. Everyone got mad, but I go, I have every right because I've I have I have people in the Philippines. My family's in the Philippines, so they get affected. But anyways, they did pass a bill, um, a, the Philippine Boxing Commission, and and we're like, well, what was it? He's like, we put one in. I'm like, they've never had one. So, kudos to them. But there's.